still a little smoky today. I haven't heard any helicopters. I hear a lot of cattle. The neighbors are moving cattle here past the house. And, uh, we ended up having to go up to Hamilton, Montana yesterday. We weren't home. My neighbor said they had two helicopters flying, so hopefully they're about done with that. You know, I'm not out to cause anybody any problems or try to stop it. I just wonder if it's really the right thing to be doing. Well, yeah, I'm not real happy about the spraying, but these folks are supposed to know what they're doing, and hopefully they do. Hopefully the cure isn't worse than the disease. What a pretty day. Blue skies and sunshine. It was only 28 this morning, but uh, the highs have been, I don't know, mid-70s maybe? I don't know. Pretty nice weather for October now. I guess part of the problem is that they're always changing their mind. You know, one day something's safe, the next day it causes you cancer, the next day it's safe again. <laughs> they say that if you drink too much water, it'll cause cancer. Everything causes cancer in California, just look at all the labels. So, I guess the EPA considers this to be safe, but tell you something my dad and there's a lot of traffic anymore anyway my dad he was an oceanographer when I was real little and then he didn't like being gone out to sea for so long so he took a job with the EPA Environmental Protection Agency and he became one of the top guys for water pollution in lakes and streams across the country. Well, he was gone a lot, even with that job. And so in the summer months, when we weren't in school, we'd load up into a little camper trailer and we'd go with him. And I've been to 31 states. And uh, it was fun. I really enjoyed that a lot. But he worked with a lot of safe chemicals in his job. He also got cancer and died at 40 years old, leaving behind his wife and four kids. So, yeah, I do worry about this stuff. And, I mean, maybe I'm paranoid, but anything designed to kill something is not good for you, whether it's plants or animals. Anyway, I'm glad that it's kind of back to being quiet. No helicopters, at least for today. I don't think they're done, but anyhow, enough of that stuff. Over the last few nights, we've had something that has uh, been coming around and killing Cindy's chickens. And doesn't seem like, I mean, whatever took that turkey uh, had to be big. Whatever this was didn't seem very big. I've had a trail camera out, but we haven't really been around enough to check it um, and do that here now. But my live trap, if I can get through this gate, my live trap last night, I caught one of them. And then this morning we were smelling a skunk really heavily. So I think there's probably a skunk around too, but look at this little guy. He's not very big. He's not much bigger than a chicken himself. They're ornery little beasts. But lucky for him, I need to go get some firewood and stuff anyway. So he's going to get a ride up over towards Leesburg away from people. If he could get a hold of you, he'd be missing some fingers, probably. Raccoons are cute, but they are vicious. Uh, I want to take this little raccoon up into the woods and turn him loose. 
But that cage, you know, I made that trap out of a big dog kennel box, and it's big. I want to get a little firewood if I'm going up the hill anyway. So I'm going to try to get him into the smaller cage without him getting loose. <laughs> that might be interesting to do. Hopefully he doesn't get loose and then he'll be eating chicken dinner again. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, probably four of these traps could fit in that big one. And he can't get out of there. Don't worry buddy, you're safe. We're not gonna hurt you none. She thinks she's tough as long as that raccoon's in the back of the truck and in a cage. Dottie, Dottie, hey, that's probably enough. Crazy mutts. Anyway, so up with the road we go with the raccoon. Kind of watching. There's a car coming down there, but I've been looking for logging trucks. I left my little trailer home today because it was meant to be pulled behind the Jeep, and it's really narrow. And uh, great little trailer, but I can't see it in either side mirror of the pickup. I can see it in the rear view mirror, and that's all. So if I did run into a logging truck and had to back down the hill it's kind of hard to do because by the time you see it in the mirror you're already jackknifed too far it's kind of a hard trailer to back up if you can't see it very well
one nice thing about them logging up here is that uh, they've been working on this road a little bit. The washboards aren't near as bad as they have been. In fact, it's downright smooth. <laughs> 